Hello, boils and ghouls, and welcome to another installment of the Comics Alliance Top 5. This week, we're keeping it spooky with a look at some of Marvel's horror heroes. Now, Marvel has had a lot of characters over the years who have had to deal with the spooky and supernatural. Characters like the Son of Satan, or Satana, or Devil Slayer. It's, there's, there's a lot of devils in Marvel Comics that are apparently causing a lot of trouble. But we are going to talk today about the top five heroes who have devoted their heroic careers to dealing with the scarier stuff. Starting us off at number five, we have Union Jack. Now, just looking at Union Jack, you'd probably get the idea that he was a patriotic hero for the United Kingdom. And he is, but even though he fought alongside the invaders in World War II, he has a special knack for dealing with vampires. The current Union Jack, Joseph Chapman, first appeared in a story where his predecessor was dealing with the vampire Baron Blood, a Nazi vampire who caused a lot of trouble back during the war. After dealing with him, Joey was even shown to have rid the entirety of Great Britain of vampires, killing them one by one until he got them all. That's dedication, and it makes Union Jack a pretty cool character. Fortunately, he's also pretty obscure. At number four, we have a particular favorite of mine, Frankencastle. Now, you've probably heard of the Punisher, but what you might not know is that there was a time when the Punisher was killed by Wolverine's son, Dakin. Completely dismembered, head chopped off, arms chopped off, all that, thrown in a sewer. Fortunately for Frank, he was found by the Legion of Monsters, characters like Morbius the Living Vampire, Werewolf by Night, those guys. And they had a spare bloodstone laying around, more on that later, and stitched him back up into a Frankenstein's monster. And since his name is Frank Castle, well, you get the idea. A lot of readers might have been turned off by this as being a little too silly for a character who has made his living fighting street-level crime by shooting it in the face, but I love the idea of Frank Castle as a giant Frankenstein's monster fighting supernatural criminals by shooting them in the face. Coming in at number three, we have a character who barely needs me to tell you anything about him because he was the star of three massive movies, Blade the Vampire Hunter. Now, the only reason Blade isn't at the top of this list is because while the movies did huge business for Marvel, and even kicked off the presence of Marvel Comics in cinema in a way that led to stuff like the Spider-Man movies and the Avengers franchise, he's never been all that popular in the comics. He was originally introduced in Tomb of Dracula and became popular, but never really got the outside reach that he did once he became a film star. Even after the movies, Marvel has made several attempts to give Blade his own series and get some traction, but he never really has, which is unfortunate. I think if we've learned anything, it's that people really, really like Blade. But there's always somebody trying to ice skate uphill. Coming in at number two, we have another one of my favorite characters, Elsa Bloodstone. Elsa is the daughter of Ulysses Bloodstone, a caveman who found a meteorite, which promptly exploded, embedding a gem called the Bloodstone in his chest. Now, that seems like it might ruin your day, but for Ulysses, it granted him immortality, allowing him to survive into the 20th century. And he chose to spend his exceptionally long life fighting monsters. Now, in the early days of the character, these monsters were the giant kaiju-style Kirby monsters of the pre-Fantastic Four monster comic. Characters like Orgo the Unconquerable, and even Groot, who would become one of the most surprising Marvel film successes. Eventually, though, that segment of his character was refined to be about fighting, you know, monster monsters. Draculas, Frankensteins, chimeras, all that good stuff. By the end of the 90s, though, Ulysses Bloodstone had found out that gem-based immortality isn't quite what it's cracked up to be. He died, and after Captain America was involved in a story about finding his bones and also the gem that gave him immortality, the character was rebooted in the form of Elsa, his daughter, who took over the family business in a sort of light-hearted version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer set in the Marvel Universe. It was really fun, but it was only a four-issue miniseries. It wasn't until Warren Ellis and Stuart Eminem's next wave brought her back that she really became the character that I loved to death. A sarcastic, gun-toting, highly trained monster killer who swapped her blonde hair for blood red and never looked back. Elsa Bloodstone needs an ongoing series, and heads up, I am willing to write it pretty much for free. That brings us to the number one character on this list, the best Marvel horror hero of all time. And of course, number one, it's Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is one of the best ideas in comics. A flaming skeleton who wears a leather jacket and rides a motorcycle. That is a concept that sells itself. 
He's also one of Marvel's longest lasting legacy characters. The original Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, passed the identity down to Danny Ketch. And more recently, to Robbie Reyes, who swapped the motorcycle for a Fast and the Furious style car. It's the original Johnny Blaze that has the strongest connection to horror, though, having been cursed by Mephisto himself, and even finding himself in recent years dealing with all manner of monsters and supernatural serial killers in the pages of Ghost Rider. That run is great, and you should definitely check it out. That about does it for this week's top five list on the horror heroes of Marvel Comics. If you've got a favorite Marvel horror hero, why not let us know in the comments at comicsalliance.com or hit me up on Twitter at the ISB. We'll see you next week with another spooky list. Till then, have a good one.